here's Brody Brazil. Welcome back to Home Studio Production Basics. This is a series all about helping you up your production value in a home studio situation. Now, I've been at the broadcast game for more than two decades. I've learned a lot. I'm trying to pass these things along in small bite-sized tips, like I said, to help elevate the quality of things and content you produce. This is episode six. It's all about using Apple Keynote and an A10 Mini Pro to produce a presentation style video like this, right? I've been getting a lot of questions from people who say, just show us how you do a presentation video like this. What's the technology behind it? Is it hardware? Is it software? So I'll leave the Apple Keynote stuff aside. That's just running on a computer. But what I wanna explain first is the A10 Mini Pro ISO. That's what I'm using here. It's a four input switcher from Blackmagic Design. It is such a small form figure right here on my desk. It does two things. It can either output my program material to a hard drive, which goes you know straight to a recording. I don't have to touch anything else. Or it's got an ethernet jack out the back and I can live stream straight to YouTube from this A10 Mini Pro ISO. Now, it has a software component, but all of the moving parts, so to speak, are hardware-based, meaning that this is extremely robust. It's extremely reliable. I mean, this technology, it's only been out for a couple years, but it is so amazing, something I couldn't have even conceived like five or six years ago. This is a game changer for those of us in a home studio situation. So it is a switcher. I'm not going to get into all the details of that, but it in tandem with some of my other devices here, like for example, an Elgato Stream Deck, it allows me to set up macros and to simply push buttons. If I want that camera again, I push a button here. If I want to go back to that um, that that uh, full screen version with the, the keynote off to my side, hit another button. It does all that. So the switcher is hardware. It works with software. And it also, like I said, it works with my computer to the extent that, yeah, let me just take that off the screen. This is a keynote presentation. That's how I'm doing this here. I put it back up. If I want the next slide, hit a button. Well, I was on the last slide. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me try that again. All right. First slide. Let's go to the next one. Oh, there's a sample slide. I want the next one. Um, I'll show you what it's like here. I just hit, hit on my keyboard. It's going to change down there. Another one. Uh, last one. It's down there. So, I mean, it, it literally is, is that simple. I'll take it off for a second. So now that you understand what I'm doing here, um, there is the base layer. I'll show you how I build this here. There is the base layer of this is what my Mac looks like right now with nothing else on it. Um, on top of the base layer, I essentially use like the DVE to do a little, little picture in picture. So let me put this back up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build it and then unbuild it all at the same time. So let me take off this, this frame graphic. See the, the graphic here that's, that's the border, it's around the corners and it, it splits us here. I believe if I take off the downstream key, yeah. Okay, now I've taken that off and watch, I'll even here with the switcher, I'll take off my picture in picture. So all I've done is I've told the switcher here to take my computer screen. The next layer is me. Now I've cropped myself, right? If I, if I didn't crop myself, you would see that. I've also uh, position this, see if I could move it left and right as I go here. But ultimately these are macros. So anytime I hit that button, it resets, but it just goes to show you, I can position this up, down, wherever I want. Okay. But now it's back to where it should be. Uh, I can also take different sources. For example, if I wanted that GoPro camera over here, I could do that too, but this is the camera I want. So that's layer two and forgive me because that's back on, uh, layer three. So I've got the computer is the base layer. I've got the camera shot as the next layer on the DVE. And then the last thing I want to do here is put the downstream key, which is, this is, this is just a graphic, uh, that is built into, uh, the media library here of the ATEM software control. So I've got this in here and there it is right there. It's number three. So I go back here and, and number three is what's showing. It is as simple as that. Um, I have macros built here. I don't care. I'll just show you what I got. Um, all these are programmed to do, you know, 20 or 30 so different things right now. I also have them here programmed. So one push of the button gets me to that. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Take the macros away. 
Uh, this is how I do it. It's three layers. Then when I want to start live streaming or making a video, I put it on the first slide. There you have it. I also should show you this. Um, here's what it looks like without me. I also have a different version where it's kind of a smaller box of me over here. If I wanted to use more screen real estate, I could do that. Uh, but I found this one works for most things I'm doing here in this series. And like I said, just simple advance on the keyboard, advance on the keyboard, last one, and that's it. So I don't really have the time in detail to go into all that, but I wanted to spell out you know, a quick way. If you want to do presentation style videos, I mean, the possibilities here are endless. You can play videos in Keynote. You can do so much with Apple Keynote. Um, in, a, in a presentation, you've always been able to do that or with PowerPoint. But now think about plugging that into your ATEM switcher and think about the possibilities of presentation in a video just like this. So, hey, hopefully some of that helped you out. If it did, let me know in the comments section below. Also, subscribe to this channel. Lots more production basic uh, basics videos coming out soon. And thumbs up on this video if it actually helped you out. All right? I'll see you next time.